Warrington defeated Rovers. All ends up last season on every occasion. So Rovers looking for redemption in this one. We're underway. Tyro May takes the kick off and Whitbread has the first carry. Run straight into Paul Vaughan of the Warrington Wolves. He's their pack leader. Try line. Walker puts it short side. Dummies, miss, it's Dufty. Fending off, there's a big gap and Williams is going to go in off the flat pass and I'm afraid Rovers were guilty of ball watching then. They didn't nail Dufty with the tackle, he was allowed to bounce off, he just simply fired it infield and George Williams had far too much space. We're in the eighth minute of play and Warrington hit the front by four points to nil and it was not good defensive work from Rovers. Simple short pass, Williams all he had to really do was catch the ball and he was going to score. Two Rovers defenders missed Dufty, he arced back inside and Williams had the simple task of finishing. Into the 30, the Warrington Wolves, Walker centre field to Vaughan, he moves it on, kicking behind. Oh, Rovers have not taken that in, Warrington have. And we're going to go upstairs once again. Did Hiku get there? Not according to the referee because he's given a try on the field. Aaron Moore, very similar to the move that Salford put on us last week. That isn't it. Identical almost. The onside offside looks okay. Rovers couldn't mop up. Hiku tracked back. The ball was bouncing. It will all be on the challenge for the ball, perhaps. There could be an argument that the Warrington player just knocked into Peter Hiku, but I think this will be allowed to go. It's Matty Ashton who will be the scorer. The grounding's okay, and unfortunately, this one will be given. And the visitors have got off to a fantastic start. They have their second try. Mikey Lewis, is he going to put this one high and try to test the fullback? Lots of hang on this one. Tyrone May's going to challenge. Oh, brilliant! Tyrone May, as long as he's onside, he's got the ground in okay. And the ball was in the air for a long time. Great kick from Mikey Lewis. Great chase from Tyrone May. And Rovers have hit back. The onside offside is being looked at by Jack Smith. Rovers need this, don't they? It was a great catch from Tyrone May. And then he was just carried over the line by momentum and two Warrington defenders. And he has his first try in Rovers colours, does the standoff. Grounding's okay. Jack Smith will give this, surely. Not quite sure why he needs that final look. That's a four-pointer for the Robins. Try confirmed. Stan wanted a penalty. It didn't come. Tyrone May goes for the power play. Rovers... Oh, they've been taken down. It looks as though the man in support was going to receive the pass, but they couldn't get the pass away. The, oh, it was the pass was on, but it didn't go to hand. It 
was Matty Ashton coming in from the wing to make that tackle. The link between Minchella and May. Lewis dummies and gets the ball away. Oh, good ball. Ryan Hall in the corner. Brilliant pass from Gildart. Oli Gildart's pass put that on a plate for the wingman. But it was just a great team try. Rovers work the opportunity. And Ryan Hall dives in in the corner. And we are level here at Sewell Group Craven Park. It's ten apiece. Rovers after that slow start. Well, they're right back into this one now. Great try from Rovers. Good work from Lewis. What a great flick pass from Oli Gildart. Flick pass out the back door. No one was going to stop the big winger from there on in. Superb. Blue shirts. It was good defence by Williams. He'll come again with May. Offloads it to Minchella. He tries to step between two. He's offloaded to Jez Litton. Litton to May. Bachelor! Oh, he's lost it, has he? Oh, it's going to go to the video ref. It looks as though it may have squirmed out. And the referee's given no try. Oh, had he got that down, it was try all the way. It looked as though it just squirmed away from James Batchelor. Yep, it did. Oh, so unfortunate. That was in a really good position on the field as well for Jez Litton's conversion. Rovers would potentially have led by eight points as we approach half time. Defensive clutches of Jesse Sue. Told to get to his feet by the referee. Curry. Oh, Rovers look skinny on numbers. They've gone in. Toby King. Not quite sure what happened to the defensive numbers there. As soon as the ball was being pushed to the Warrington left, you could see that Rovers were struggling on the right edge for numbers. There was some miscommunication there. And Toby King has Warrington's third score. They lead 14-12. And from the mistake of Tom Opacic, Warrington have capitalised. The ball is just simply kept alive and the link between Curry, Hayes, Fitzgibbon and a stroll to the line for Toby King in effect wasn't it's over it. two conversions from the two Rover scores. Ball back on the inside. They've made the break. Petter Hiku. The stab forward. Rovers need some luck here. They're not going to get it. Warrington have scored a good try from deep. The referee will check the onside, offside, but looks like he's going to award a try on the field. And, well, at 14-12, Willie Peters won't have been too disheartened. It's now... 18-12, I can't see this not being given. And with only 17 seconds of the half remaining, Warrington have their fourth try. Two in two minutes. The line break, Hiku was trying to hold up the Warrington attack. The kicked towards the right edge. And Warrington have finished it off. And it's Connor Wrench who grounded the ball. Youngster. No Josh Drinkwater for Warrington. So the youngster getting another opportunity. The ball goes back to George Williams. On hands and knees, he gets the ball away to Matt Dufty. He runs around the outside of... Minchella puts the pass to Wrench. Rovers just need to keep the shape because Warrington are going nowhere. I'll tell you what, the Roger Millward stand 
they played their part then. A massive roar of forward went up. It was in fairness still at the moment. You can see that Warrington will make another interchange soon. It looks as though the former Wigan man, Sam Powell, will be entering the fray. Lewis. Oh, brilliant! Mikey Lewis has got Jez Litton in support. Oh, it's gone to ground and Rovers have bombed it. They've bombed it. Jez Litton. Magic Mikey. Unlock the Warrington defence superbly. Drew the full back and uh, Jez Litton had overrun the pass slightly. Said in the first half, didn't I, it was going to be Lewis. If Rovers were to come away in this game. Needed a cleaner pass perhaps, but Jez will be very very disappointed and you have to say Rovers have probably bombed three tries oh, deep game. inside the Warrington danger zone here missed out pass finds May Lewis floats one over the top Ryan Hall back inside Oli Gildart punches the air he has his first try in Rovers colours and Rovers have the first try of the second half it was a speculative pass from Mikey Lewis to Ryan Hall, but Hall turned it into something. He came onto the ball at pace, turned it back inside to Oli Gildart, and Gildart finishes in the left-hand corner. Rovers cut the gap to two, and Jez Litton, in fact, it won't be Jez Litton, will it? He's off. It's going to be James Batchelor. Attempting to level up this game once again. The substitutions of Willie Peters seem to have worked. Long ball over the top. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What a ball from Tyrone May. Tommy Opacek scores in the corner. And Rovers have the lead. 20 points to 18. Two tries in four minutes for the Robins. What a ball from Tyrone May. Hard done to there, the Robins. It looks forward. Hayes will kick. That's going to go into Ward's Ryan Hall. He spins it quickly to Gildart. Gildart. Oh, it's knock on by Ryan Hall. I'm not sure that was the option so early in the tackle count. It was a risky play. Maybe Ryan will be disappointed he didn't take it had he done so something would have been on but mm, it's a mistake inside your own half and good field position for Warrington with 12 and a half remaining players you've got to be both physically and mentally fit haven't you oh they've created a gap Dufty has just absolutely strolled through and from a scrum that is very, very disappointing. Still time for Rovers to turn this around, but Warrington have the lead back. Rovers had four defenders on that side. To be fair, it was pretty much four on four, but somehow they created the gap. A misread perhaps defensively from somebody, but Williams found Dufty and yep, yeah, he went between centre and winger and hardly had a glove laid on him. Last roll of the dice. 
Warrington puts it dead. Warrington claimed the victory.